Hello everybody. Let's take a look, a quick look, at the landing gear up blocks. And, and what gives you the, the green indications in the cockpit. The, 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 the phrase, if you've heard the phrase, three green. Three green are, are, is the green indications you get one per landing gear. One per main landing gear, so that's two. And one for the nose landing gear, that gives you three green when all three gear is stowed and locked. Locked in the up position, locked with the up lock. Let's take a look at that, that up lock. All right, we are now inside the wheel well of the left landing gear. Inside here, I'm inside of a bucket. It's a cylindrical container. Which is the housing for the main wheels once it gets swung up and tucked in into the belly of the aircraft. Now, if you look at this little bracket over here, the, the, the gear, the trunnion, the, the pivot of the landing gear, so, so you get oriented as to what we're looking at. We are underneath the belly of the aircraft on the left, looking outboard at the left main landing gear. The left wing stretches out in that direction, forward is that way. So the nose of the plane is in that direction. Now this landing gear pivots on this point right here, that's called the trunnion. And it pivots and it swings up in this direction and tucks up under the belly of the aircraft into this cavity that, that I'm in now. Let's, let me show, let's see if I can show you a better view. So this swings up into the cavity that I'm, that I'm standing in now. And if you look at that little bracket over here, in line with it in that same direction, if you draw an arc and you swing up this way, that little bracket there will line up with this guy right here. And this is the up lock. That little pin goes in, engages here, and it, it's latched in by this guy. So this is the up lock. Now a little farther up, let me see if I can show you uh, right here. This guy here. You see this guy. That is a proximity switch. That proximity switch is tripped by the up lock. So when the gear comes up and latches here, clunk. It trips that switch and that is the indication you get in the cockpit that gives you the green light now on the left main gear you have a, an exact replica of this only a mirror image and before we go to the nose um, let me show you something else you see the the, 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 the doors the landing gear doors there's a door that closes up. Once the gear comes up, there's a door that closes this and makes this all fair, uh, a, a fairing, uh, a smooth fairing. It completes the, the smooth bottom of the aircraft. Now, half of the door is attached to the, to the gear itself, and you can see it here. It is that panel, a white panel over here, that curves out, down like that. And that comes, swings up with the gear, and it exactly matches the contour of the aircraft here. The other half of the door is down here. This one is on pivots here. This one hinges from here and it comes up as the gear swings up and gets tucked in. After the gear goes up, this door swings up and closes up this compartment over here. Now let's go to the, take a look at the nose. Now we're, now we're looking at the nose wheel compartment. We are under the nose of the aircraft. Forward is this way. And aft is that way. Left wing, right wing. And now we're looking up into the nose of the aircraft. Okay. There's the nose. The nose gear, nose gear uh, wheel wheel. And the nose landing gear. And the nose landing gear swings up its trunnion is back over here. This is its pivot point. 
this brace moves out of the fold up moves out of the way and the gear swings forward and it tucks into here now the uplock for your, for the nose gear is this guy over here and the corresponding pin is right here that pin right here so as the gear swings up it comes up and it latches onto that guy and if you look at those two little recessed holes that recess and that recess that is to provide clearance for these two cylinders so if you can see the uplock pin here and these two cylinders just as a reference again that swings up and latches onto that and then you can see the rest of the mechanism here as a, a dedicated cylinder to turn this rod which in turn swings over this way pulling up on that rod and that rod closes up this door and on the other side another rod that closes up this door and these are the two nose gear doors that after the nose wheel comes up and stows in these doors come in and close up the, the fuselage of the airplane as well as this other door on the back of the nose landing gear that one is also attached to the gear and that one comes up along with the nose gear so there you go I hope you like it. It's a, like I said, it's a quick look into the uplocks of the landing gear. That is the first clunk that you hear just before landing when they deploy the landing gear. The first, and when they are extending the landing gear, the first clunk you hear is those uh, those locks releasing the landing gear and allowing it to come down and deploy. And in reverse, after the landing gear is stowed, then you hear. <laughs> It is that locking. So you go. I hope you like it. I this, this is a, a view of something that is uh, rarely seen by passengers or people that are not actively working on on aircrafts. There you go. From the nose of a of a global global express. Uh, see you next time.